there are several specialised accessories available for Comfloor. Closure plate is used where the 600mm cover width of Comfloor doesn't quite fit the structure. Closure plate can be used for gaps up to 140mm edge to edge. Alternatively, the Comfloor sheets can be split and spliced back together. In both cases, tech screws at 300mm centres must be installed to maintain the structural integrity of the splice. Closure strip is used to block the Comfloor sheet ends to stop concrete escaping. Supplied in 2.4m lengths, it's cut to create single end caps, 200mm wide for Comfloor cut square. For curves and angle cuts, the closure strip is cut to suit. It's never installed as a solid strip. For ease when forming the slab edges, use the Comfloor edge trim available for any slab thickness. Comfloor edge trim is fixed either to the steel beam or to the Comfloor itself. Restraint straps at 600mm centres stabilise the edge trim against concrete load. Consideration should be given to the installation of any perimeter reinforcing. Often this needs to be installed prior to the restraint straps to avoid rework. Edge trim must never be stepped upon. It's designed for horizontal loading only. The construction joint former matches the shape of Comfloor 60 and Comfloor 80 and is designed to reduce concrete seepage when forming construction joints or when forming voids that will be cut out after the concrete pour. Timber backing is used to form the slab height and provide horizontal stiffness. The Comfloor construction joint former can easily accommodate bottom reinforcing, will not interfere with mesh placement and is fixed to the top of the dovetail portion of the Comfloor. Comfloor hangers are available for Comfloor 60 and Comfloor 80 only. The Comfloor threaded wedge nut is best used for heavier loads. For loads up to 50 kilograms, a GTD type hanger can be used. Threaded rod and terminal fittings are typically supplied by those installing the suspended item and are only loaded once the concrete has reached full design strength.